So now you can kind of have some fun about with pumpkins. They're a great source of beta carotene. They have potassium. <clears throat> you can make so many different dishes with pumpkins. They come in different colors. Yellow, I've seen white pumpkins, they're huge. And they also belong to the squash family. So actually, a pumpkin is a vegetable and it, it belongs to the squash family. How about that? It's a squash. So I'm testing out my different tools here. I even use a little potato peeler. And next, what I like to do, I want to take and move some of these things out of the way and have some fun with my pumpkin. How about putting a little carrot for the nose of our pumpkin? One should be enough. So we're going to give it some character now. Well, we've kind of worked on it. What I also like to do is take the top of it and I want to cut off this extra, kind of put that over the top and maybe put some herbs Is the hair. So maybe take some of the herbs that you have. I got some sage here. Just giving you some ideas. And putting the top like this. And giving it a little bit of character. A lot of different things you can do. You want your pumpkin to have some hair and some other neat things. If you have some glasses, you can put some glasses for your pumpkin. They fit in there. So you got like a sort of a John Lennon pumpkin. How about that? Isn't that neat? That's another, that's one look you can give your pumpkin. You can take these out. Uh, what I also like to do, using some toothpicks, you can attach different things. Let's say you wanted to make ears for your pumpkin. You can probably take a potato peeler here, punch a little hole in it. And remember when you use some of the pieces that you cut out, you can just take a toothpick now Put that inside and then attach an ear to one side of your pumpkin. That's so why I never throw the parts away because you never know if you're going to need them. And same thing for the other side. Reverse. Use your Kind of get an idea where it's at. Take a toothpick for the other ear. Yeah. Two ears for Mr. Pumpkin here. Uh, sometimes people take the eyes. Uh, so they take the pumpkin and color in a couple eyes. So they'll take little mini ones and take a marker like this to make the uh, inside. And once again, you poke toothpick here. Using floral uh, toothpicks is a good idea as well. 
same uh, toothpicks they use for uh, at the flower shops. You can also make an eye like that. It really depends on how you want your pumpkin to look. Put that aside. Well, I want to thank you for joining me on e -Ride by George. Uh, you can actually become our friend on Facebook. Search out e -Ride by George on Facebook. Send us a friend request, and we can keep you updated on special appearances. Uh, we can give you some recipes, healthy cooking tips, uh, videos. We'll be posting videos from the show, especially this one, since the holidays are coming up pretty soon. Kids are going to be trick-or-treating. Now, one final step is using a little scraper and scraping the very bottom of our pumpkin in order to add a candle. So I got a candle here. I'm going to add it to the bottom, make sure it's standing up. And I think these are real handy, having these handy is very helpful. Lighting it. bit in the way. And then once again, I like to have a little bit of the herbs for hair So I got them. Here's my final touch. Oh, I had some sage here. I wanted to add some sage because these look more like hair. And I got a little hat for Mr. Pumpkin when he goes out trick or treating. And we'll turn off the lights and take a look at our pumpkin. How it looks in the dark. Hopefully the candle is showing slightly. May have to clean it out a little bit more to but you kind of get the idea. So I want to thank everybody for joining me here on E Right by George, the healthy cooking show. Shows you healthy can be delicious. And enjoy your Halloween holiday and enjoy carving out your pumpkin. Trick or treat.